So Banggood, an e-commerce website, sent out a review unit of this latest Blitzwolf BWHL4 smartwatch for my unbiased opinion. And this is an in-depth review of all that you need to know about this stunning smartwatch. And by the end, if you decide to get it, there is a special discount coupon code along with the direct link to get this smartwatch in the video description. So be sure to take the advantage of the discount code. Because you're watching with Stu, and if it's your first time here, thank you so much for clicking. Here is where I review smartwatches, smartphones, and all sort of tech. So if you're into tech, you must consider this subscribing let's start with price and availability as I said earlier you can find the direct link with a special discount code for this smartwatch on banggood from the links in the video description at the time of filming this video it is listed for only 49 us dollar the price may vary at seller's discretion and any discounts banggood does ship worldwide so be sure to use the discount code provided in the video description so let's find out what can this stunning blitzwolf bwhl4 smartwatch do now I have done an unboxing video of this Blitzwolf BWHL4 smartwatch on my second YouTube channel like I do for a ton of tech reviewed on this channel. So be sure to check out and subscribe to my second YouTube channel for short form video content. But in terms of unboxing for those whom it matters, it is on par with other budget smartwatches. Nothing remarkable though. The setup process was relatively simple. You have to download the app named HBand app, which you'll find it for free on Apple App Store or Android Play Store. You can create an account directly from the app to store all your health data in case if you were to switch phones or device. The app is pretty self-explanatory. You can check out the review of Blitzwolf BWAT2 smartwatch and the video is linked up in the card section and at the end as in that video I have talked in depth about the HBand app and all the options. But in nutshell, under the Mind tab, you can access all your account settings, including your goals, unit, and unfortunately, this app does not pair with any third-party platforms except VRUN at the time of filming this video. Under My Device, you can access Notifications, where you can allow all the apps that you want to get notified for. For this watch, unfortunately, you have to set the alarm from the mobile app. Fortunately, you can get sedentary reminders, heart rate alerts, turn wrist detection, disconnect reminder, low power mode, blood pressure, private mode, frequent contact is where you can add your favorite contact which you can call directly from the watch which is neat and other options like take photo, reset password, dial setting, firmware upgrade, clear data, reset and disconnect. Going back under running, you can start a running workout from the mobile app where the watch tracks your biometric data and the phone tracks the GPS signal as this watch does not have a built-in GPS which is expected for the price you pay. Under dashboard, you'll find all your fitness and health data like sports, sleep, heart rate and blood pressure. Okay, with the app being done, let's have a look at the watch and talk about its design. The watch is a bit bulky but looks stunning on my 6 inch wrist. I have the silver color model with stainless steel silver wristband but you can also get black and gold color. I personally like the silver color. The bezels have engraved markings, there is a power and a back button on the top right and the mode or menu button on the bottom, there is a microphone in between. The band mechanism is super easy to apply on and off, just press these buttons to release it and push it back in to lock. At the back there are charging pins, speaking of charging pin, this watch has a proprietary magnetic charging pin, which is also a USB data transfer port. Yes, this watch has a built-in storage for music playback directly from the watch, more to it later during the video. But this watch has a built-in speaker which honestly is at an awkward location, but somehow it does not sound muffled at all, as I think it's a bit raised from the skin. There is a heart rate sensor encased in this glass, which is really nice. The wristband is made of stainless steel and gives an awesome look. So this watch is by far the best in terms of looks and design compared to other smart watches and gives a bold and imposing look. Inside the box there is a link removal tool as honestly the stainless steel wristband was quite long and I had to remove almost 6 links. But let me briefly show you how to adjust the wristband length with the provided link removal tool. You have to make sure that you follow the arrows to push the link pin out. Do not go the other way around. So place the band on the link removal tool, align the link pin with the push pin and fasten to push the link pin to remove the links. 
Likewise, remove as many links as you want and then attach the links back to the end by sliding the link pin. You can use the link removal tool to push the pin inside by aligning the link pin to push pin and fasten slowly just enough to push the link pin inside and that is it. This watch uses a 22mm wristband so you can use pretty much any aftermarket 22mm wristband. Now let's briefly talk about the specs. Pause the video to read through all the specs of this watch. This watch has a 1.3 inch IPS HD touchscreen with 240 pixel resolution. The display is quite bright and sadly it does not have always on display. This watch is IP67 dust and water resistant with all the needed sensors but it does not have Wi-Fi LTE, GPS, NFC which is expected for the price you pay. It has more reliable Bluetooth 5.0 and has the dimension of 50mm by 12mm thick. So this watch is not so thick. It weighs 44 grams without the stainless steel wristband and the stainless steel wristband weighs about 89 grams. So the total would be uh, about 130 grams. This watch has a 300 mAh battery size, good enough for 5 to 7 days with moderate use. Standby time of this watch is 25 days and it takes about 2 hours to charge with its proprietary pogo pin charger. Now speaking of charger, let's talk about music. This watch has a built in speaker for music playback via the watch directly. You can even pair a Bluetooth headset to this watch to listen to music or talk directly from the watch via a Bluetooth earbud. This watch has 120 megabytes of internal storage for music. So you can transfer MP3 strong straight to the watch via a computer. And to do that, you have to connect this charger to a laptop or a computer and this watch will pop up as a USB drive on your computer and just transfer mp3 files as you would on a USB stick. That's pretty simple. Once transferred on the watch under the music app, you will find option to play music from the watch or use the watch to control phone's music player or connect a Bluetooth earbud to this watch. In terms of music player, you get options like play pause, skip a track forward and backward and control the volume. Let me give you a demo of this watch's built-in speaker. You pretty much get the same options to control the phone's default music player or any other music player like Spotify, Deezer, Amazon Music, YouTube Music, etc. The good part is that the watch can trigger a music playback from the iPhone directly without even reaching out for my iPhone. So in terms of music, this watch is far better than any other budget category smartwatch. Guys, if you made it this far in the video, I thank you so much for sticking around. Please smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. Come on guys, it won't cost you a dime. And in doing so, you won't miss out upcoming videos like this. Now let's talk about the navigation and user interface of this watch. From the main watch face screen, slide down to access quick settings like find my phone, alarm, device broadcasting, do not disturb mode and device info along with device connected or disconnected icon, battery level, time, day and date. Slide up from the main watch face screen to access music. Slide left or right to access widgets like step, sleep, heart rate, blood pressure. Use the bottom right button to access the menu which includes sports, steps, sleep, heart rate, blood pressure, call, context, call log, notification, alarm, stopwatch, countdown timer, music, find my phone, female, photo and settings. Settings includes brightness control, screen on time, switch that includes reminders like heart rate, blood pressure, heart rate alarm, disconnect reminder, wrist wake feature and sedentary reminders. Going back under settings, it's app download QR code, watch faces, message setting, device and reset. There is an app for camera control for which you have to just open the iPhone's camera app and use the watch to capture an image. You can shake the watch to take a picture. It's really good feature to have and it works great. This watch also has a find my phone app which works great. There is a speaker and a microphone and in terms of making a call you can either use the call app to access the keypad or access the contacts that we added from the mobile app. You can even access call logs and dial straight from there. In terms of notifications you can 
just read the notification at a glance you can't read a full message you cannot even reply or interact with any notification and you can't even see an emoji image or a special character but that's not just this watch any watch except apple watch can't do that when paired with an iphone for this video the watch is paired with my iphone 12 mini but you can pair it up with any android phone so this watch for 50 bucks has a lot of feature with stunning looks. Let's talk about how it performs in terms of fitness and health tracking and wrap this video up with my final say. This watch can track your heart rate and it's quite accurate. I have compared it against this O2 ring which is FDA approved and I have done a full video for this linked up in the card section. You can check it out once you're done watching this one. So you can see it's just few bits apart. Now, this watch also measures the blood pressure, so let's compare it against this pneumatic inflatable blood pressure device and you can see it's about right. However, I wouldn't recommend this watch as a diagnostic measure, you should always consult your doctor. This watch does record your sleep with details like start and wake up time deep sleep light sleep and rates your sleep out of five star and from my testing this watch was accurate in detecting the sleep and wake up time with just about few minutes apart this watch does not measure spo2 that is blood oxygen but it does track your workout now under sports mode you'll find workout options like indoor and outdoor walk as well as run hiking, stair stepper, outdoor cycling, stationary bike, elliptical and rowing machine. The workouts are pretty limited. There is no option for gym based strength training workout. But from my testing against the Apple watch for an hour long outdoor walk, this watch did pretty good. This watch recorded 3.77 kilometers versus Apple watch recorded 4.4 kilometers. This watch recorded 246 kilocalorie and Apple watch recorded 373 kilocalories out of which 110 were resting calories so the total is about 263 kilocalorie which is pretty close. This watch did undershoot in terms of average heart rate of only 113 beats per minute whereas the Apple watch showed 137 beats per minute. So for just 50 US dollars this watch is not that bad at fitness tracking. So here's my final verdict. Blitzwolf BWHL4 is a budget smartwatch which does not look like one. The overall design and build quality is great. The stainless steel wristband is amazing and the watch looks great on my wrist. I really like the ability to transfer music on the watch and ability to pair a Bluetooth earbud with this watch. The watch has a speaker and a microphone, the watch works great with an iPhone, does good at fitness and health tracking. I just wish that this watch had always on display and SPO2 monitoring. This watch is an easy recommendation so let me know what are your thoughts about this watch in the comments down below and don't forget to use the discount code in the video description if you decide to get this watch. I'll see you guys in the next one until then check out these smartwatches.